Okay, good evening everybody. It's the Sunday the 14th, so it's day 14 of my carnivore diet. I've been, so tonight I went to a concert, which was quite cool, and I did cheat a little bit in that I had a couple of Diet Cokes. That's that's as bad as I've been. I know, I know it's strictly not on the diet, but there's no way I was going to go to a concert and drink water. It just wasn't going to happen. And I figured that that was better than having anything else. And I'm trying to stay off alcohol and all the other stuff. So don't at me. I had it. I'll live with it. Um, aside from that, had a pretty good day. Weight was down again a little bit, which I was surprised about. The body fat was down a little bit as well. So everything's kind of just continuing. I feel pretty good. I'm sleeping amazing. Um, my sleep has really improved. And I don't know if maybe that's because I've cut back on the tea with caffeine. And I'm kind of only having caffeine maybe three times a day now. So I have a coffee when I wake up in the morning. And then I I really have got to the point where I don't I don't even want to drink that much milk. Milk is starting to actually taste really funny. And I still like it in my coffee because it, it takes the edge of the bitterness off the coffee. But now what I find is, is, is even when I go to the coffee shop in the morning, I just get something like an Earl Grey tea or something or a peppermint tea. I had Earl Grey a couple of times last week, didn't really get on with it. But the coffee shop that I go to has actually some really good peppermint tea. And what I found is mostly during the day now, I just drink peppermint tea. And I find that it's got enough taste. I know I've said this before, but it's got enough taste. And it sort of, it, it, it ticks the box to have something to drink other than just warm water. And yeah, I find that I'm, I'm really enjoying that. So that's all good. And then usually in the evening, by the time I come home, because I'm withdrawing from the caffeine, I have a headache. And I think usually in the evening, I just want a little bit of caffeine. So I have a, I usually have a normal tea with a little bit of milk in it. But I'm now starting to wonder if I should just break with caffeine altogether and see if I can just break that and then just find some different teas. Again, because the same thing all the time is just, it's so incredibly boring. And that's the problem I find with, with the meat as well. It's, I have to, I have to mix it up with some other stuff that strictly isn't on the diet, like spam. Spam is, it's a potted meat. It's not really, if I'm super, super strict on the diet, it shouldn't be on the diet because it's, it's got some additives in it and that sort of thing. But again, for my own personal mental health, I need to have some sort of variety and I just can't. You know, no matter how much I season the meat or, you know, chicken or whatever it is, I've, I, I just need to have something different. So I've tried a little pastrami. Um, I've tried some some sort of hot dogs there. The hot dogs in the UK seem to be better quality than the ones in the US. The, the food in the UK and Europe generally has fewer additives, fewer preservatives, fewer GMO. So if you're in America and you're watching this, the, the diet here, I think just from a base level is better. Most of the food quality is better and uh, not all of it, but a lot of it. So even things like hot dogs, I think are a little bit better. So again, that's just a cheat. I might have a little bit of, um, still having a little bit of peanut butter or something like that just to get the taste anyway. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a cheat today, but that's just because I was out and wanted to have something, frankly. And uh, we'll see how that goes over. Still didn't get any exercise in today. Um, I knew I was going out later tonight and ended up just sort of relaxing around the house, trying to do some work and, and watching some TV and stuff. So I had a relaxing day. Hopefully we'll be back to work tomorrow. Schedule should be back to normal. So we'll give it a go and, and see. I'm thinking that maybe a better way for me to try and get my exercise in is for me to go to the gym during lunchtime. And then that way, if, because what's been happening before is it's been super, super cold. So it's been like below zero and I don't want to ride the motorcycle when it's below zero, certainly with my son on the back. Um, it's just too risky. So my wife's been taking us in in the morning, which then means she has to pick us up in the evening. And I don't want her to have to come in 
to pick up my son around five o'clock and then have to come back and then pick me up again later. So I've maybe I've been using that as an excuse to not go to the gym or whatever, but I've got to find a different way because I really do want to go back to the gym. So I'm thinking that I'm since I'm not really eating very much at lunchtime anyway, and I don't really have a lunch anymore as such, maybe I'll use that time and 11, 11 30, I'll go to the gym and then, you know, I'll, I'll be back at work at half 12 or something like that. I can't do that time tomorrow because I already have some calls and meetings booked. But if I start to put that in my diary, then maybe I can just block that time out and I'm like, okay, this is the time I, I go to the gym and then I'll just know that and I can work around it. So we'll try that, see how that goes. Don't know what will happen tomorrow. And yeah, not, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Don't feel any different, no, nothing new, no aches and pains, nothing particularly changing from day to day at the minute. So just better sleep and yeah, that's pretty much it. So Anyway, now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to go. You guys have a good night. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.